fun. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Uh, I, I've done it again. Rego's done it again. Uh, right, this video, let's make it short and sweet. You're like, what the hell are you doing up here? So what we're doing is fitting a flexible solar panel, semi-flexible. Um, it's, it's sort of rigid, but it will fold, mold to the shape. So I think that's uh, 160 watts or something like that. So that's handy power to have when you're camping. And this thing's going to be living on the road, camping full time, Apple. So I'll just show you how I do it. Well, when I say how I'm doing it, this is how I am doing it. Um, I haven't fitted a flex panel before. So I did my research, as they say, and you get a lot more life out of them. Sorry about the creaky bloody platform. Um, you get a lot more life out of the solar panels if you can get a bit of cooling air underneath. Because it's pretty common for people to just put some glue on the back of the panel and just slap her on so um, slap it on so what we're doing in and I've heard of people just using plastic and whatever will follow the shape of your roof and um, but won't rot or anything like that. it needs to be waterproof so I can't remember whether I saw it in someone else's video or not but I'm using the core flute sheet so I've just bought one sheet. You know how they have for sale signs and stuff like that. Real estate agents use hundreds of them and politicians and all that. Um, so, yeah, I probably paid too much, but it was 10 bucks for one sheet at Bunnings. Um, you know, I'm sure if you buy 100 of them from a different supplier, it's a lot cheaper. But anyway, I, one sheet has... Oh, I could do a few of these installs because like, you're only cutting little strips. These strips are 20 mil. Um, and I thought just to gain enough height to my satisfaction, um, it's uh, double stacking it. So that's given it about uh, five, six mil, probably about six mil. So the panel will then get glued to this, but I've got to glue these down first. And I've just noticed a boo boo already. Um, what's new? Double, double. You know, taping it off each time. Oh no, single, double, double. So I need one more, Andrew. <laughs> so I thought I had double there. Anyway, I'm going to pull this tape off here, um, and uh, yeah, I'll get another strip on there. But what I'll do is I will show you the story. Um, so I've got the uh, the wiring the wiring part of the panel to the back because I'm going to run the cables to some conduit and whatever on the rack. I've I've got to work out where I'm going to uh, route the wires yet for the actual to run the power. Um, so yeah, because this panel will be basically hardwired in, uh, so it'll charge the battery when. Um, when the car's not in use even so basically one trick you got to do i've watched uh, many a video and that's you need some form of um like c-section whether it's plastic or aluminium um plastic's a little bit more flexible uh and that that goes over the lip of the panel the panel is very thin so it's only it's only a few mils thick um, so you need something on the section there because the idea of the story is um, most of your winds coming for when you're going forwards at a hundred K an hour or whatever and the winds tr gonna try and get in under the front of the panel and pick it up so I've left enough room there for the panel to come out a bit and then the C sections going to uh, thanks Andrew I'm going to cover the front and that's that'll sort of lock it in so the the wind won't be able to get in underneath so um, I guess you could run it all down the sides and the back like all the way around have it encapsulated but um, I don't think it'll need it it would be good for the airflow to get through here actually so I think I'm only going to do the front and we'll see how we go 
everything will be tested. Um, for this, I got picked up some. Yeah, I was in a hurry. I normally use a. Oh god. I normally use a um, like a polyurethane seam sealer type stuff, automotive sealant adhesive, um, which this this is this is probably more industrial than automotive. Doesn't matter. I grabbed this out of the box that said white tubes on it. So of course I've been shafted by some bloody customer who's chucked it in the wrong box. But at the end of the day, you, you won't see any of it really. So the main point is that it sticks. So here's another strip. Just wipe the dust off it, make sure there's nothing on it. And then stick it on like so. Yeah, I'm thinking the double strip will be just give you that bit more height. And stick it down like so. And then I thought, well, I've done I haven't done any sort of video with this sort of thing. So here's the bodywork at paint and we've been doing all sorts of things on this. Might be able to see down in there. I've been making pull out drawers, so doing some carpentry, all that. Uh, yeah, so uh, this is what we're doing. I might cut the video off now just to make it nice and short. So I'll get this tape again and re stick that on just to hold it in place so it doesn't lift up until the glue has set, which. Um, yeah, I, I actually haven't read the label as to how fast this stuff is. The sicker. So people just say sicker flex it and they mean the sicker make, you know, 50 different products that all do a similar thing. And it's just, they've all got different specifications. Um, so you just got to try and grab the right one. But everyone just calls it sicker flex. Um, I don't generally use sicker, it's a little bit overpriced. Um, that was 30 bucks for that tube, but I figured, well, if it's all going to lock the panel down nicely and never come off, then it's uh, doing its job, I suppose. Oh, that's another thing, too. This is on a fiberglass roof. Um, sort of weird one. This is sort of like it's almost just bare gel coat. Like, I think it was a new roof, um, and it's never been painted because you compare it to the paint, and paint's super white and shiny, and this is quite dull i'm sure you could clean it up but um when i was cleaning the bloody shit off it before bird shit it just bloody wouldn't come off it's like ingrained in the roof and i thought well we're covering over it anyway so i got it as clean as possible and that that would is something you'd have to do is give it a really good clean to make sure there's no contaminants on there so everything sticks all right i'm going to cut this video off now um and i really should do another video but i probably um i probably won't so i'm going to call this prepping your roof to fit flexible solar panel so hang on a minute. come on we've got to we've got to we've got to at least at least see what it's going to look like all right so let's do that don't be so lazy greg it's only a short video anyway uh, so, trying to do this while filming, as usual, fun, fun, fun. I'm sure that shouldn't affect anything there. So, I've, oh, so, so I've just put the tape outline on there. Like I sat the panel down first, centralized it, do your measurements so that it's sitting in the center, you can see it's got to come back a little bit there um, and across this way. So that's so that's what it's going to do. So just give it that when it's this is glued down, it's just going to allow the air to go through it. Probably can't see it on camera. So um, yeah, so that's the idea. So it's still very very flush mount almost compared to your regular house solar panels. But, you know, I, I know it's not as flush as sitting it down hard on there, but apparently the the lack of airflow underneath it will shorten the life of the panel, and I'm just going for, even though it wasn't a super expensive panel, 
I'd still rather it last as long as possible. So that's my theory. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, short and sweet. Oh, pardon me. So yeah, that's that's how I'm going to install it. So um, yeah, once those are done, I pull the tape off and then put a bead of the adhesive on and then stick the panel down so it doesn't move. Um, and then I'll just put the, the C-section plastic or whatever across there. So. That's the plan. The idea is to glue everything and not screw into the pop top. Ideally, you don't want to do that like you, you have to obviously for handles and stuff, but you really want to minimize um, how much screwing you do into the roof rack, the, uh, the roof rack, the uh, pop top. All right, that's all for now. I'm going. So welcome to Grego's solar panel install. Goodbye.